bringing geometry into Nuke is a core workflow, and with the new 3D system being based on USD and each object having unique IDs, there are some key workflows to learn. The first node we will focus on is the Geo Import node. This is the node that imports geometry from an external file and is the node to use if you want to import an entire scene. Currently, only USD and Alembic files are supported for import, but there is expanded functionality and file support we are looking to add. Note that if a USD file contains more than just geometry data, such as materials, lights, cameras, all of this will be imported and appear in the scene graph, though not all of it is accessible directly just yet. The second node is the Geo Reference node. This is the node to use if you want to import an asset one or more times, or even duplicate an asset that already exists in your 3D scene. The difference between Geo Import and Geo Reference is that Geo Import imports an entire file, keeping all the paths in it the same. If you were to import the same file multiple times using Geo Import, the file names would clash as they would not be unique IDs. You could only import a file once using Geo Import because the second import would just override the first due to the paths being the same each time. Geo Reference, on the other hand, creates a new object which refers to an object in the external file. This object can have a different path, so you can use Geo Reference to modify the scene hierarchy or to import the same object several times at different paths. Geo Reference can also be used to make references to objects in the incoming stage if the file knob is left blank. This is the primary way to duplicate objects in the new 3D system. Just make a reference to the object you want to duplicate and give it a new path. If you are looking to inspect your 3D stage and gain a greater understanding of the USD layer you are working on, you can use the new GeoView Scene node. This will give you a way to look at a text version of the USD layer at that specific point in the node graph to allow for gaining a better understanding of what is happening at a given point in your node graph and also allow for troubleshooting.